Welcome back, everybody, to Construction Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, so we are going to do Rumor Mill, Construction Stage A Transport, and uh, yeah, do whatever that is. So I guess we still have this tank on the back of our truck from our job we did earlier uh, in the last episode. So let's hop on into our truck. I almost forgot the flatbed truck is almost out of gas. Refuel it before you head out. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, refuel our... Sounded like I was hearing voices, like a radio going off or something. Um, okay, yeah, so let's go into first person view. We need to find our little guide thingies that show us where to go. Oh, wait, we're already at the gas station, aren't we? Yeah, we're already at a gas station. Wants us to go over here, though. That was convenient. Does it care what side we go on? Okay, so T to refuel and R to repair. Oh, hey, there's one of those hammer things. I am hearing voices. Am I? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, were you talking, lady? Can you guys hear that? Or am I just going crazy? I'm hearing voices. Okay, let's do this thing. Congratulations, you found a collectible. Two out of 100. Where's that coming from? Oh, hey. Can we go up here? There must be people inside the building or something. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Well, let's not get too distracted by voices. Lady, you're... There's something kind of wrong with your face. The closer you get to those people, the more plastic looking they look. So let's not get too close to them. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's head on out. It looks like it wants us to go back this way driving back to the motel oh did we just run a red light I think we did that doesn't look very red though um yeah I still haven't been able to figure out the dead zone setting on this thing it's way way too sloppy for my for my liking anyways I like, whoa, that's not me being a crazy driver, that's my weird dead zone. Oh, right, I can't, I can't look in first person because it snaps me back. So, I seem to be getting a reasonable amount of views on this series so far, but none of you are leaving comments, so I don't know. Are you enjoying it or what? I mean, it'd be nice to hear from somebody anyway. Um, I'm going to keep doing it for now. I still haven't fully decided if I'm going to do it, you know, long term, but it's fun. It's fun so far. All right, let's hop in here. Park behind the motel. Speak with Hoppe. Uh, okay, yeah, G. What's up, Pompe? Ah, perfect timing. The preparations are underway. I'm sure you're wondering what exactly we're up to. Well, it's like this. We need something spectacular to keep this town from going completely under. So we'll work some magic here and special effects there. And presto, we'll have swarms of tourists coming for a peek with their cameras. On the outskirts, there's a place that we already set up for our plan. We just need your help to put the final piece in place. We should be finished by morning. You gotta work all night? <laughs> I guess we're gonna work all night. 
Oh, there's another golden hammer. And it looks like a barn or something. Room and mail stage completed. Enter flatbed truck. Okay. Let's go get this hammer first. Congratulations, you found a collectible. Up the context menu, left, select light and turn on the headlights. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now you only have to drive this thing out of the city without anyone seeing you. Okay. How am I supposed to do that exactly? Can I go out around here? Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go out this way, but... Okay, let's go this way. So how am I supposed to keep people from seeing me? Oh, it says we're going to a crash site. Well, that's interesting. Okay, you you don't see me, people. I'm not here. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Four hundred meters up this way. Let's try this view as long as we don't have to look left and right. So we're going up this road here. Hmm. Some kind of graffiti on that uh, wall thingy there. Hold on one second. A dog. Uh, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try and put this up again really high. It is just terrible. Absolutely atrociously terrible. I don't even know how high I can go. Can I just type something in directly? No, it doesn't let me. Changes the sensitivity of the steering wheels. I gotta think the higher the number, the more sensitive it is. I don't remember how high I took it. Okay, that's as high as it goes. <laughs> okay, let's see if that does any, makes anything uh, or helps at all. I mean, I still have like, I would, I don't know, I'd say like two to three inches of dead zone in the, in the wheel. So, and I don't, you know, I haven't seen a dead zone adjustment at all. I wonder if I could do something about that in my actual wheels software. That's something I could look into, I suppose. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem to do anything at all. It's just sloppy as all get out. Like, it's not working, period. Okay, well, whatever. Whatevs, man. Almost there. Okay, so we're going to a crash site. Park construction machine over here, next to the golden hammer. Rumor mill stage completed. Enter backhoe loader. Okay. Are we like burying a dead body or something? This is all mysterious. <clears throat> Excavate trench. Okay. Like with the the bucket? Why is my Oh, there we go. Okay.
Do I put the the dirt in any particular place? Let's look at Spidey Sense here. Huh. Okay. We'll just dump it over here, I guess. I do like the digging in this game. Definitely like that. Um, let's try this view. Looks pretty realistic. Nice sound effects, too. more bucket load. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Unidentified flying object. What is this game? I thought this was a construction, a construction simulator, not a sci-fi thingamadoodle. wants us to place object. Where's the object? I mean, that's where it wants us to place it, so... Alright. Spidey sense. Hmm. Oh. Why does that show up? Doesn't want me to put that in there, does it? Okay, I'm a little corn-fused here. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, so I watched a couple of different YouTube videos of this mission, and what was supposed to happen is after, <clears throat> excuse me, I talked to Hoppe, and then it turned to night, this tank was supposed to have been replaced by a UFO. But obviously that didn't happen. Um, so I guess I have no choice but to just skip the the quest. Uh, I hope that doesn't like mess me up somehow. But if we click on this and we place object and we do skip task, are you sure you want to skip this task? This may incur cost for materials. Yeah, I want to skip it. Okay, and there. Okay, so now it's there. When you're finished, come back to the office. There's something I need to discuss with you. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that that was seriously bugged. Um, but I did everything right. It was it was just, it, I don't know, for whatever reason, the UFO didn't get on the back of the truck. Okay, well, this is what it is. So, do I have to, I probably need to, yeah. Let's just put that back in place. I mean, I don't know what else to do with it, right? Um, I, I, maybe I should get rid of it because it might cause problems with something else. Well, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there for now, and hopefully it'll disappear later. Okay. Why? What? Driver mode. There we go. I was so confused, man.
Okay, so that's going to attract tourists to the town because a UFO has been sighted and has crash landed. Okay, let's follow the... Wait a minute. Is this... Are you just going to... Oh, I didn't even see... <laughs> didn't even see that fence there. Are you just going to send me around in circles? I'll bet you it's just going to send me around in circles. Yeah, you stupid game. Why did you, why did you send me in here? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Well, let's go back to Hoppe's company. Let's see what happens next. Whoa, thank the Lord there was a guardrail there. That corner came up on me a lot <laughs> too fast. I was expecting that. Here's some more plastic people. Stop! All right, open up the gate and drive on in. Where do you want me to park, Hoppe? Is there, you have a parking spot? You know, I'm just gonna park right here because I don't want to drive all the way there, over there and then have to walk all the way back over here to talk to your face. that noise what is that noise that is weird man I don't know what that noise is doesn't sound natural though maybe hop will tell me at last there you are now all we have to do is keep our mouths shut and see what happens. But one thing's as certain as the sun rising in the morning. The people in this town love rumors and headlines. Soon everyone will be talking about the glowing object from another world. I'm sure of that. <laughs> right. And all thanks to your help. Oh, it's my Good fault. <laughs> yeah. Listen, to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done with my life. My career has been rock solid. But I also think it's high time that I retire. My business is small, but in good shape, and it needs someone to pick up the reins. And I honestly can't think of anyone better for this job than you. So, what do you say? I'd stick around for a while to help until you're on your feet. Deal? Uh, uh, yeah? Okay. Acquire company. Congratulations on running your very own company. Thank you. If you want it to succeed, you should stop by regularly and familiarize yourself with everything. I recommend you first take a close look at the upgrade levels and start meeting the goals listed there. It's the only way to qualify for the big jobs in town so you can someday leave this place behind. You should also take a look at the vehicle fleet and the finances to see what it takes to manage your construction equipment and get an overview of your financial situation. But the most important thing is fulfilling the orders. It's the only way you can make money to keep expanding your business and afford new construction equipment. So get to it. Running a company isn't an easy job, but the best way to start is by getting started. Good the advice. The will work itself out. Trust me, and I'm still here for you. Okay. So here's our new company. G Progress, you have advanced in player level and have received a new skill point. Oh, okay. Upgrade level S reach. New company expansions are available. Do you want to open the expansion level menu now? Uh, yeah. Upgrade level S. Okay, so let's see. Three, constr uh, three construction machines by company premises to expansion contract. Meet all the requirements for upgrade level S to unlock level M. Own a total of three construction machines to hire a mechanic on site. The mechanic will take care of all your penny repairs on your on your construction machines. Okay, so apparently we already own the backhoe and the pickup. To finance 
the move to larger company premises, you will need to have 150,000 credits in your account. Tip, you can always accept well-paid contracts via the job menu. Okay. And it doesn't look like we can select these other ones to see what uh, they give us. Oh, wait a minute. Um, upgrade level S. Oh, here we go. Mean all the requirements. Okay, yeah, so it isn't going to really tell us what we need to do for that. Okay, so let's see. We have contracts and complete the expansion contract from the opening campaign to complete level S and unlock the entire game world. This is the final mission. Complete all other tasks in this level beforehand. Okay, so are these the tasks it wants me to complete? Construction helper, you get active support on, on the construction site. The construction helper does some tasks on the construction site for you in no time at all. You can find the construction helper in the context menu under person. A bank has taken notice of you and offers you a loan of 250,000 credits. Tip up the company menu and switch to the finance section to take out or repay a loan. Okay. Um, parking. The parking areas in the yard of the company premise have been expanded. From now on, you can move out plus 10 construction machines at the same time. Okay. And then you now have your own workshop on your company premises with the automatic repair in the vehicle hall. All stored construction machines are repaired 1% per minute for free of charge. And this is all unlocked. Okay, so... Um, so what do we do? Go to jobs. We got campaign. After completing the starting campaign, you will find different types of building missions here. Campaign section allows you to continue the main story in the game. In the contract section, you will find different types of construction jobs. You can play all the campaigns and contracts both alone and with friends. That's nice. Okay. Go backspace here. Math jobs company. To lend more contracts, your company needs to grow. Right. Okay. So, um, upgrade levels to land more contracts. Okay. Do I, so, ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Finances. Well, hello, lady. Business is, oh, this is Emma. Hi, Emma. Emma's finance hint. Business is running fine, but if we could cut down on unnecessary expenses, the month could become a really good one. Okay. How do I know what are unnecessary expenses? Here you can find a graph of your, did it, did your lines. Oh, keep track of your current blue, income green, and expenses red. Okay. It's not, it doesn't let me like switch between that. Oh, now it does. I don't have any traffic offenses. You, <laughs> that's definitely broken. Um, okay, so I have to backspace out. Reach upgrade level M to unlock this credit. Take out a loan to support the growth of your business. You have to pay an interest rate of 2% every 24 hours until you have repaid the loan. All right, I don't want to do that quite yet. Oh, we have a personal account and a construction account. Okay, that's interesting. Current account balance. What? Enter money. No, I don't want to do that. Um... Use the arrow keys to set the amount of money you want to transfer. Oh, transfer. Right. I got you. Okay. So I can transfer money to myself or to my company. It's weird. Every time I click on these tabs, I have to then backspace before anything actually gets activated, which is really kind of odd. Invest your experience points in different skills. Check how much experience you need to reach the next player level. Um... So didn't I get, I got some skill. Oh yeah, I have one skill point. Okay, I see. So bucket capacity, bulk material capacity, asphalt capacity, crane speed, concrete viscosity. You're a skilled concrete worker and know how to mix the perfect concrete for smooth pouring without leaving any open spots. Fitness. There's nibbles as a gazelle and you leap and climb like a panther. Why does that matter? Fuel efficient driving, wear efficient driving, good business sense. During negotiate. Uh, negotiations, you impress contractors with your oratory skills, or need a bonus for every job you complete. I, I kind of like that one, actually. Uh, crane speed, bulk material capacity, carry more stuff, scoop more stuff, load more hot asphalt. Okay. 
Uh, I like the good business sense one. So, there we go. Okay. A one-horse town. Okay, so we, we're still working on this. This is all the stuff we've done. But it said we had to have to finish this. Own three construction machines to buy the second company. Permit. Oh, okay, so that's what we have to do. Wait, okay, working here is a charm, but the big contracts are found in the city. Hey, Hoppe wants to meet you there to talk next steps. I think we have to buy the UFO landing slowly, but surely attracting a few tourists to the village. Now it's time to use the momentum and complete. Oh, okay, open the map, select contracts, and complete three side contracts. I see. So I had to get out for it to start advancing. Open the map, and then select contracts is that what these purple thingamadoodles are probably open the map select contracts and complete Contra where's contracts i don't see contracts it said select contracts here there we go okay land development that gives us 100 grand this gives us 100 grand and this gives us 100 grand instruction stages five four three there's only three in this one and we get the same amount so let's do this one Okay, job scope is medium, and prefabricated walls, materials delivery, purchase prefabricated walls from the prefabricated wall factory, ceiling construction, and then, it, this probably only has three stages, but it's probably more complex than the other ones, but you know what, we'll do it. Okay, well guys, that is it for this episode anyway, so we'll start the next episode uh, right where we left off here, and and do this um this mission and go from there okay so yeah let me know uh, if you're enjoying this in the comments um i'm again i'm i like the game i do it's kind of fun but i'm it, it's also really frustrating with all the oh look it says og construction nice that's me um it's the bugs and stuff are a little frustrating i have you know they got to fix a bunch of stuff too but anyway uh, we will definitely do at least one more episode, and then we'll kind of, you know, see see what happens from there. I'm still a bit on the fence about whether or not I want to do this long term. Uh, but, yeah, we'll just see how things go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, show the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.